Understanding the economic value of your company is not just a number on a piece of paper. It's a vital component of your business journey. Whether you're a seasoned entrepreneur or just starting out, there will come a time when you need to put a price tag on your business. And let me tell you, that can be a daunting task. Many people shy away from this because the thought of valuing a company can feel overwhelming, especially if you lack financial expertise or don't have a finance team at your disposal. But fear not. Today, we're going to demystify the process of business valuation and explore why it's crucial for your entrepreneurial success. First off, let's talk about what business valuation really means. At its core, it's about determining how much your business is worth. This isn't just about the tangible assets like your office space, equipment, or inventory. It's a comprehensive appraisal that takes into account your profits, industry standing, liabilities, and a whole host of other factors. Understanding your business's worth is essential for a variety of reasons, whether you're looking to sell, attract investors, or even plan for retirement. Imagine this, you've spent years building your business, pouring your heart and soul into it. Now, the thought of selling it is on the table. How do you know what to ask for? Having a clear valuation helps you negotiate a fair deal, ensuring that you don't leave money on the table. Similarly, if you're an entrepreneur looking to buy an existing business, understanding the valuation process equips you with the knowledge to make an informed decision. So, how do you go about valuing your business? Let's break it down into a simple four-step method that can help you assess your company's financial health. Step 1. Distinguish business value from capital assets. This is a common misconception. Many people think that the value of their business is simply the sum of its assets. For example, if you own a building worth $500,000 inventory worth $100,000 and cash reserves of $200,000, you might be tempted to say your business is worth $800,000. But hold on. While these assets are important, they don't paint the full picture. A potential buyer is more interested in the revenue generating potential of your business, not just its liquidation value. So, focus on factors like market demand, revenue streams, and growth prospects. Step 2. Assess profitability and longevity. This is where the rubber meets the road. You need to understand not just how much money your business is making right now, but also its potential for future earnings. Look at your net income, how much you're bringing in after expenses. But don't stop there. Consider industry multiples, which indicate how long investors can expect your business to remain operational and profitable. In many cases, these multiples range from 2 to 10, depending on various factors like size and risk level. By multiplying your net income by an appropriate multiple, you can start to gauge your business's potential value over time. Step 3. Calculating your business's value involves a bit of arithmetic, but don't let that scare you. Start by establishing your net income. Let's say your business generated $750,000 in revenue and had $500,000 in expenses. Your net income would be $250,000. Next, consider the multiples based on industry norms. If you determine that a multiple of four is appropriate for your business, you multiply $250,000 by four, giving you a preliminary valuation of $1 million. But wait, you also need to assess your growth potential. What does the future hold for your business? By analyzing historical growth rates and market conditions, you can adjust your net income to reflect future profitability. This means projecting your earnings over the next few years and incorporating those figures into your valuation. Finally, step four, incorporate market valuation. This is where things get interesting. Your calculated valuation is just a starting point. The true value of your business is ultimately determined by the market. If you valued your business at $1.1 million, but potential buyers are only willing to offer $1 million, then that's your market value. It's essential to remain flexible and open to negotiations, as the market often dictates what your business is worth. Now, let's take a moment to consider why understanding your small business's worth matters. It's not just about the numbers, it's about strategic decision making. Knowing your business's value is crucial for preparing for a sale, attracting investors, issuing stock, and securing financing. It also helps you understand your growth trajectory and make informed decisions about the future. When it comes to setting the right sale price, it's not merely a financial decision. It's about shaping customer perceptions and market positioning. Pricing your product or service correctly can significantly impact your brand's reputation and customer loyalty. If you price too low, you risk undervaluing your offering, while pricing too high could alienate potential customers. Finding that sweet spot is essential for sustainable growth. As we dive deeper into the importance of business valuation, let's not forget the role of earnings. When determining a fair sale price, many professionals use a multiple of EBITDA, earnings before interest, taxes, depreciation, and amortization. This metric is a reliable indicator of your company's operational profitability. The multiples can vary, typically ranging from three to six times EBITDA for small to medium-sized businesses. Once you have a figure based on EBITDA, it's wise to validate it through additional valuation methods. Assess your tangible, 
and intangible assets and analyze comparable sales data to see what similar businesses have sold for. This holistic approach ensures that you're looking at your business's value from multiple angles, providing a comprehensive assessment that stakeholders can trust. Understanding valuation reports is another critical piece of the puzzle. These reports provide insights into your business's financial standing and potential. By comprehending the methodologies and assumptions behind the valuation, you can identify strengths and weaknesses that may influence your strategic planning. As you navigate the world of business valuation, remember that it's not a static process. Market conditions, growth potential, and competitive positioning all play a role in shaping your business's worth. Adjusting your valuation based on these factors allows you to refine your understanding and make informed decisions. In conclusion, completing a business valuation is just the beginning of your journey. Once you have a clear understanding of your business's worth, you can engage in negotiations with potential buyers or investors. It's crucial to remain flexible during these discussions as sticking rigidly to your valuation may hinder progress. Instead, be open to adjusting your expectations based on market realities and investor preferences. So whether you're looking to sell your business, attract investors, or simply gain a clear understanding of your company's financial health, mastering the art of business valuation is essential. It empowers you to communicate effectively with stakeholders, make informed decisions, and ultimately navigate the entrepreneurial landscape with confidence. Remember, knowing your worth is not just about the numbers, it's about the future of your business and the opportunities that lie ahead.